There's a really cool program happening this weekend, happening tomorrow, that's being done by the one of the unions associated with the postal workers nationwide. And Ross Fraser is on the line with us. He's a spokesperson for Feeding America, feedingamerica.org, or helpstampouthunger.com um, are, the, are the websites. Uh, Ross, welcome to the program. Well, thank you for having me on to talk about this food drive. I had somebody call yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, it might have been the day before, f- who said that she was a postal worker, she was a member of uh, the local whatever it was, of whichever postal workers union it was, and that if on Saturday nationwide, if you'd put a can of uh, canned food or, or you know, uh, non-perishable foods, packaged food, in your mailbox, that letter letter carriers are going to be collecting these things to give to hungry people here in the United States. Do I have that right? You have it right. So, uh, what this is is a food drive that they tried to make as simple as possible. The National Association of Letter Carriers has been doing this for 20 years. Wow. And they have a big commitment to helping feed hungry people in their own community. There's something like 175,000 individual letter carriers who will participate in this tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And what they'll do is they'll simply drop off the mail at your home and then pick up a bag of groceries that you leave next to your mailbox. So it can be more. It can even be bigger than your mailbox. If you leave a whole bag of groceries out by your mailbox, they'll take that they as opposed to just one can of tuna fish. Yes, they will take as many groceries as you are able to leave. And, and I'll tell you, this is tremendously needed. It's so important. So, you know, if people just have a can or two of groceries that they can spare, that's fine. If they can spare more, we need it. Summer's coming. School lunch programs are going to be ending. And so that means a lot of kids won't get free or reduced price lunch or breakfast at school. Right. Um, this food drive is, is tremendously large. Uh, last year, they gathered 70 million pounds of food. Wow. And, yeah, and, and they've been doing this for 20 years. So 70 million pounds of food. And over the last, what the benchmark that they passed last year is in total over 20 years, they've collected a billion pounds of food. That's and, extraordinary. Yeah, it, it goes a long way. And so anybody can do something to help out. I'm I'm surprised that somebody like uh, you know one of these Republican senators on their high horse, uh, Ted Cruz or Jim Inhofe, hasn't um, g- gone off on you know what government workers using government vehicles to collect food for hungry people. We can't have that. Are you getting any blowback? I, I haven't heard anything, and and I can't imagine that anyone would have problems with uh, people of goodwill trying to feed neighbors who are hungry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> welcome to the world of politics. But I, but I think it's absolutely mar- marvelous. And so uh, you can check out the websites, feedingamerica.org or helpstampouthunger.com for more information about this. But the really simple thing is, do you have to know that your letter carrier is a participating one, or should just everybody who's listening or watching right now leave some food out tomorrow? I would hope that there's been publicity. I know I got a, a postcard in my mailbox letting me know that I should participate in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we, we distributed several million bags stamped with the Stamp Out Hunger logo on it. Mm. Several hundred million bags were sent out uh, throughout the United States to encourage people to do this. So if people haven't heard about it, they can always call their local post office and make sure that there's local participation. Uh, right. They can even take, you know, if it's more convenient to them, uh, you can also drop off food at your local post office. Sure. As well. And and, and the worst thing that's going to happen is if your letter carrier is not participating, you can pick up the, you know, I mean, you know, it's not like you're putting perishables out there. You can just take that bag of groceries back in the house the next morning. Right. right. Yeah. Right. And, we, you know, we need common sense things like peanut butter, tuna fish, canned pasta, Something that's in a can or in a box that's shelf stable, right. not perishable. Right. And uh, it will go a long way to help. You know, one in six Americans is at risk of hunger right now. It's uh, mind boggling in the richest country in the world. You know, it's mind boggling. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people need lots of help. And uh, this is one small way that everyone can participate and help feed people in their own backyard. Yeah. And I think your point that summer is coming in these school lunch programs that a lot of kids re- depend upon for the nutrition that keeps their bodies and minds in, in good shape, uh, those, those programs are going to be gone for the summer. And yeah. um, this, this is a, a beginning of filling in the cracks there. Right. Yes. You know, we have something like 21 million children who get free or reduced price lunch at schools. 
And when those close, for the most part, uh, those kids are then left without places to go for breakfast or lunch. There's a government school food service program, but it only reaches between two and three million children. Right. So that leaves us with about 18 million children and their families scrambling to find enough food for them during the summer months. Right. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Who, how, who started this, Ross? This was started by the National Association of Letter Carriers and Cam- the Campbell Soup Company, which is one of the major sponsors. Of uh, okay. Cam- Campbell's is also throwing in a million uh, cans of soup. So That's great. And, and if you've got some, some Campbell's soup, you can put some of that out, too. Ross, uh, thanks you so much for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Sure. FeedingAmerica.org, HelpStampOutHunger.com.